come to work every single day. Attention passengers, we've now reached our destination. Every single person here is a leader. The misconception that most, many people have when it comes to leadership is that you need a title to be a leader. That you need a manager or supervisor next to your name to actually show up and take ownership of your job. We have to shift that perspective today and I believe I'm gonna share a tool that many of you are familiar with that I believe is gonna help shift that perspective. Hey, what's going on leaders? This is Jeremiah Brown. We are here at the Ocean County Library Conference. I'm so pumped up because we have an opportunity to really talk about servant leadership and the power of culture. I know this room's about to get packed up and filled up and they about to get this passion. And as I always say, leaders lead. Let's get it, Ocean County. Bring it back, bring it back, bring it back. We are going to dive into servant leadership and what it looks like uh, in your day to day. Uh, but more importantly, if there's anything that I want you all to just walk away with today is not how we can be servant leaders here at Ocean County, but being servant leaders at home, being servant leaders within our community, being servant leaders in different spaces and places that wherever your feet are, it becomes an inclusive space. The library is a sacred, special place that no matter where you are in life, you can show up and not necessarily be judged or turned away at the door. Now, can someone read really quick what a winning culture at Ocean County Library is? A winning library culture is built upon the understanding that the library is the hub of the community. It's, it is an environment that fosters growth, lifelong learning, and positive change. This culture is committed to achieving organizational excellence through collaboration, innovation, and continuous improvement as it strives to empower and enrich the lives of those it serves. Now, what are the great characteristics of a leader? Innovative. Innovative. Inspiring. Empowering. Inspiring. Good listener. Good listener. One more. Give up. Communicator and what was it? doesn't give up. The shift that we all must make today is understanding that service and leadership coincide with one another. Jeremiah is a powerful message that he said. What he did was reinforce the ideas that I pretty much already had, but I didn't know how to verbalize. For someone who personally leads in our library system, there's a lot of takeaways that I can add to my skill set now that I've participated in this, uh, this presentation. Overall, excellent, exceeded my expectations, lots to take away from. The energy was great, the interaction between the audience was fantastic. Because of where we're being led by, we get so wrapped up into the work that we lose ourselves in the work. And we forget that we're a mother, we're forgetting. So when we can create a space that allows us to show up as our authentic selves, home and, it's the best place to be a part of. Once you, once you, once you, once you, I pray you catch something positive. <laughs> Jeremiah did a presentation for us that is rocking our world, that is setting us straight, clearing our path, removing debris. We have no excuses. Why? Because this young man that I met online showed up and he's authentic. He's the real deal, everyone. When everybody contributes, everybody moves up. You know, he's the rising tide that lifts all boats. I absolutely would want to hear Jeremiah speak again. I feel like the 45 minutes to an hour was just not enough to be able to learn more insight and knowledge from someone who has so much experience and um, you know such a great skill set with leadership to be able to lend to the community. I would absolutely like to see him give a speech again. Hopefully he'll be back next year. 
please, next year's keynote speaker, period. Go ahead, invite him. He's worth every dollar and more.